Hello, Master Tax here, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to have a look at a battle from the Czechoslovakian T8 Premium Medium tank, the Skoda T27. Before we get into the action, we'll have a quick look at my crew and equipment I use on this tank. My crew that I use in this is from my TVP5051. So quite a good crew, they're all onto the fourth skill. The equipment that I'm using on this tank is vents, vertical stabiliser and quartered optics. So let's have a look at the battle. Today I'm playing on El Halouf. It's an encounter battle, which means we're both attacking the same base. And we've got the 6-9 matchmaking. Now I'm top tier today. So I want to head to the hill. I always like starting on the hill, especially when I'm in a medium and I've got some gun depression. I bought this tank not because I needed a crew trainer for my TVP 5051, because I had that for a long time before I got this tank, before it was even released. I bought this tank basically for a second option on front line. When I say a second, I really mean another as I have plenty of tanks I can play with on front line. I do find sometimes the Lorraine's reload for the full magazine of around about 35 seconds is just too long for me. So I wanted a shorter reload, which you get in this squad of T27. But it does only have three shells in the magazine. But my reload with my crew and equipment is 22 seconds, which I find a lot better if you fire one or two shells from your magazine and you're unsure if you should reload or not. Which, if you had the Progetto, you don't have them worries. So if you are looking to buy a tank for front lines or just to play in the random battles, I would always recommend the Progetto. So I'll tell you a little bit about the gun on this tank, which you could see in action. One shot into the T-34-100. Pull them back now, I don't think I'll get another shot. So you get an 88mm gun on this tank. You get 240 alpha damage with 202 penetration. That penetration isn't great. You get a three shell magazine, which I have a reload with my crown equipment of 22.02 seconds, as I said. That was nice, and ammo rack by our T20 after I fired at the 45 TP. So I pull them back, reload this clip, and I'll get back to the gun stats. So I have an aim time of 2.02 seconds, and a dispersion of 0.35. That's not great either, 0.35. It's all okay. But what is good, if you have any of the Czechoslovakian medium tanks, you will know that the intraclip reload is really good on these tanks. And on this tank, you have an intraclip reload of 1.8 seconds as you can see now fly through them shells you can actually get them three shells out from firing the first one to the end in 3.59 seconds which is amazing and will cause on average 720 damage you also get eight degrees of gun depression with this tank which is nice and your shell velocity is 1050, which is also nice. So let's see if we can take this T20 out. And there we go. Three shells as quick as that. That T20 has injured me driver. So I'm going to have to use a first aid kit to sort him out. As I load this clip again, I want to make me way around this hill. Into this little valley section to see who's capping. See if I can reset the cap. It looked like it was our opposite number, scored a T27. I'm fully reloaded, he's lit. Hasn't spotted me. Look how quick I'm getting these shells out. Three shells in, that quick. 774 damage into him. And we'll pull back and reload again. With this tank, you don't really want to sit in front of your enemies because the armor isn't anything special. Can I snipe that TS5 from here? I'd say the rear of them didn't penetrate and he's been taken out so I'll have to reload that clip again 
As I was saying about the armor, it's nothing special. On the turret, you get 100 millimeters on the front, 100 on the side, 80 on the rear. Tears nothing special. You'll not be bouncing much with that. You will bounce the odd one or two. And then the hull armor, you get 65 on the front, 40 on the side, 40 on the rear. So this tank definitely isn't about the armor. This is what this tank's about. Sneaking around the back, who should I take? Yeah, yes, one shot, two shots, three shots, he's finished. I picked that target because I knew I'd be able to finish him in the three shells. I have got an injured driver and commander there, so I've had to use a first aid kit again. That was the Oho using HA on us, which is gonna hurt because of the armor I've just told you about. Stunned at the moment. I'm getting out of the way of the Oho while I reload this clip. It is reloaded. Looks like he's gonna push out. I'm just reversing back so I can get the shots in. There he is. One into the back, two. And we'll finish him off. I do enjoy that rate of fire on this magazine. We've probably saved our Super Persian there at the same time. So I'm reloading the clip again. Do they need me help? I think the Super Persian should finish him off. Help our Oni. Yes, he has. So it's time to move again. T25-2. Fired. Don't know where that shells went. There's a second and third into him. So we've taken him out that quick. That's what this tank's all about. Getting into positions. Just letting rip with that magazine. Get back into cover. So I'm reloading again. Other stats I've got with this tank. I do have a decent view range. But I have got coated optics on this. I do have it up to 449. Which is just over the 440. But that's without having recon as a crew skill. I'm just working on that. So it will improve. So I'm going to try and play this ridge. Thought I'd spot that SU-130 there. I'm going to pull back just in case he spotted me there. Doesn't look like he did. But that tank could take us out in just one shot. So I'm letting our SU-130 push forward. He can light them up for us. Hopefully. He can also take a shot. I'm not sure whether that it went up that way. I think we would have spotted it if it did. I think it's more slightly went towards the cap since two of our teammates are capping at the moment. I'm right, it's making his way at the cap and he's been taken out so my support wasn't needed there. I'm gonna make my way up to where the artillery is. Oh, there's the SU-152. He can take us out in one shot. I wanna get up here before our team caps. Challenger has come out the cap. See if I can get me top gun, me six kill. That SU-152 has gone out, so I don't want to drive in front of his gun. It's around here, which way is he looking? He is looking towards me. So I'm not going to drive around there. I'm going to turn around, make my way around this rock and towards where the artillery is. If I get up in the corner where the artillery is, I will be able to use the ridges, gun depression, snipe him if he's still there. So mobility on this tank is quite good. It's not quite as good as the Projecto or the Lorraine. You do get a 50 top speed going forward, 20 in reverse, but it is quite nice. Maneuverable, be able to reposition. Is that SU going to peer out there? Here's the artillery in the corner. Challenger got shot in, stole the kill, and that's me top gun. Now I'm not going to reload, still got two shots in the clip, can I see the SU-152, yes I can, zoomed in, only tracked him there, and he got taken out before I could get that last shell in. Let's have a quick look at the stats, was it class 1 barge? We got the high caliber for our 4,178 damage and the top gun for our six kills. Top of the tray for XP with a BSXP of 1,354, top for damage. 
We made 121,000 credits, but that's due to a personal reserve bonus. 5,234 XP, that's due to playing a premium vehicle and a personal mission payout. I'd like to thank you for watching today's battle. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It's a little icon in the bottom right hand corner. And if you have any feedback, please could you leave it via the thumbs buttons in the comment section below. Cheers.